the national vop ceremony was presided over by President Maithripala Sirisena and Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksa at the paddy fields adjacent the Thissa Maharama temple this morning. President Sirisena and Prime Minister Rajapaksa engaged in religious observances at the temple before commencing the vop festival, following which the vop ceremony got underway. <laughs> Former Minister of Agriculture, Parliamentarian Mahinda Amaravira and former Speaker Chamal Rajapaksa also attended the event. We intend to hold the Provincial Council election under a new government as soon as possible as a measure to strengthen democracy. Officials of six provincial councils are clueless. Officials can only fulfill their duties under certain restrictions due to circulars. Political leadership is important when doing things in the interest of the public by going against circulars. Law and regulations as well as circulars should be used for the betterment of the people. People who were responsible failed to provide answers to the people in the north during the past three and a half years. The cabinet could only talk about building houses in the north so far. They spent all these years from 2015 to decide which minister would undertake this duty along with the foreign funds that came with it. As a new government, everyone should unite and work towards reducing the cost of living and achieving economic prosperity and a disciplined society. I humbly request all political parties, which appointed Mahinda Rajpaksha as the Prime Minister, state officials as well as citizens of Sri Lanka to help make Sri Lanka a better place through the strength of harmony and brotherhood. It's a day of happiness for you and I. We were given a duty and we had the responsibility of fulfilling that duty. The President called me and said that we as the Alliance should take a decision. We decided that there is no good for the country or the people by being in this government. When he asked me, I was more than happy to sign the letter of the UPFA's withdrawal from the National Unity Government. The President possesses the full power to appoint a new Prime Minister according to the Constitution. I can guarantee that the Prime Minister appointed with the blessings of the President has the power to get more than 113. <laughs>